Right. I'm trying this new thing at the moment where I'm writing in the morning and I find that my head is very cloudy. Like I wake up at my, my alarm time, my head doesn't work, I can't write very well. So I'm trying to basically bust myself awake with 50 burpees in the morning. How's my crotch shot? Done. Right, I'm on short time. I've got to down it. Mm. Jesus Christ. No way I'm downing that. <laughs> Definitely recommend that. 50 burpees in the morning, quick shower, wake you up, then you can get on with it sharp. Just bashed a car against the wall in Alcoz. And there's a picture of uh, the Virgin Mary <laughs> behind some graffiti. Every Friday morning we get together with the trainers, don't we Janine? Yes we do. Told you. This is the aftermath of the trainers training. There's Clint. He's in a, a commercial about how to be a chav. I didn't do my breakfast exercise this morning so I will do them later on. I will film myself doing them as well. That's a 10 minute run. Gonna go get this run. Done. Uh, I'm not skipping on my breakfast exercises. You shouldn't skip on yours. <laughs> no, hi, 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 hi. Why are you laughing like a demented seal, Gillian Barry? <laughs> what um, the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, let me read what's so. Let me read what's so funny. Here, it's, this is it was going to no, get there, funnier. Will you stop cracking up at your own gags? <laughs> you always. Yeah, but crack mine are mine jokes. are hilarious. that are mine are that funny. You, if you were up to my level of comedy, then you would be allowed to crack up. If you want to push into the upper echelon of gags, hang around with me, Gillian Barry. I'll take you there. Yeah. Cool. Anything you want to add? No. Anything for today? Oh, Alright, we're here at Little Circuit Factory. As you can see behind me, if I drop that down there, you can see here. That's going to be the, putting the kids through their paces. So far, it's just eggplant and lime. Oh shit. There's a lot of sugar in fruit, isn't there? But it doesn't matter. Because you're eating the whole fruit. So when you eat the whole fruit, the sugar is mixed with the fiber. That's what you get when you eat the whole thing. So that then becomes safe because the fiber protects you. It slows everything down. Beetroot in there, that's weird. I just trim it like a nice set of pubic hair. These video blogs have just become one man's battle with his vegetable blender. That looks healthy, doesn't it? It looks like a, a kind of ant's nest of health. You know where they bury down into the ants there and they do the little shits and then the shits turn into the tunnels. New week, it's new time for a new breakfast. This week we're gonna be doing the Ab Ripper X. All right, that's done. Talk a little bit more about sleep and rest. So I'm getting into the habit of going to bed early. I mean, really early. Like I'm in bed at 8.30, nine o'clock latest. And that's really weird to most people. I think it's making a massive positive difference. Nothing of any uh, kind of productive benefit happens between the hours of nine o'clock and 1 a.m. In fact, all you really do between nine and 1 a.m., unless you're the owner of a very successful nightclub, is basically uh, destroy the quality of your of your energy the next day. That is dead time. Um, you know, you can say, well, I'm doing work in the evening, but the fact is, the quality of the work that you do will be pennies in the dollar compared to the quality of the work that you do when you wake up, when you get out of bed and you've slept. There's this myth of productivity. Productivity is not working uh, 24 hours a day or even 16 hours a day. It's working like a fucking laser. Le Leonardo da Vinci, who is obviously one of the most productive men that ever uh, walked the earth. So he said power through repose, strength through rest. You know, uh, basically get your mind rested and then work like a juggernaut you don't do it by staying awake tiring your brain on you know out in social so out in social situations or you know instagram or facebook or whatever you're, you're you're sort of like you know you're getting your fix from late at night that is uh, is cutting in to your ability to wake up in the morning and to wake up strong and i think the impact that it's had has been at, i can't stress this enough let me have a private word with you here is that 
I have, uh, this last two years, I have been up and down in terms of my moods. Some days I would get moody uh, and, I d and I wouldn't know why. I would have these kind of like low spells and there'd be nothing really to trigger. I just, now I know why. I wasn't prioritizing my sleep. So therefore the, the amount and the quality of my sleep wasn't up to standard. So what happens? In the day, my hormones, my emotions, my central circuitry are all up the shitter. And I, wasn't, and, and I was basically uh, just, uh, you know, uh, an emotional wreck which is what happens to everybody when they get tired. Everyone wants amazing rest and to feel powerful when they wake up and to, you know, to get that great rest in. But in my experience, very few people would actually have the balls to put that into practice. It takes balls to get to bed early. And I mean really get to bed early, to shut down the moment there's nothing going on. 8.30, 8 o'clock screens go off, 8.30, 9 o'clock you're getting into bed, 9, 9 o'clock lights out. You know, that takes balls. And it takes balls to, uh, to you know, when you wake up in the morning, uh, you know, you fucking march out of bed. You do some sort of hardcore, immediate flash exercise then hit the cold shower so that you're awake 10 minutes after you get up. You know, you're really awake. These aren't easy things to do, but Jesus Christ, if I can send one piece of advice through this lens and register it into your brain, it would be that your most powerful, fundamental important thing that you must get right is not the holy grail and it's not exercise it's sleep everything else comes on top you have to have a strong foundation is the holy grail important fucking hell yeah is exercise important absolutely but without rest there's no foundation without the foundation what are you going to build nothing and everything will come tumbling down sort your sleep out put some effort into your sleep not just oh all right, i'll go to bed a half an hour earlier think it through it's the most important thing most important thing that you can do right is to get your sleep it will completely and utterly revolutionize your life